Hello guys, it's LZ789 with another build video. I already made a video of this one, but I wanted to make a bit of better video. So let's try it this way. This is going to be my striker Lady Dead tank build with 2 million armor. It's really offensive and defensive. Let's go into it. It's the gunner specialization for the armor on kill and some other boosts. That's good for just running around and shooting. I use the Lady Dead because I think it gives you the most damage that you can get. And you, I'm running around with this build all the time, so that's perfect. When moving, gain 4 stacks per second or 8 stacks if you are sprinting. Uh, max stack is equal to the weapon's magazine size. This gun has 32 bullets, so you get 32 bullets of amplified damage. Each one fired consumes a stack, amplifying damage by 75%. And when you get a kill, you get 20% movement speed for 10 seconds. So yeah, this gun gives you 75% weapon damage. I think there's no gun in the game that gives you more than 75% damage. Like if you go to this gun, for example, this gun only gives you 20%. No? Yeah, it gives you 20% damage. And this one gives you 75%. So I think there's no gun that gives you more than 75%. Because this is a tank build, you want some damage on the build. Um, all my gear pieces, I have armor to get to that 2 million. Because my thinking is, I can do all the damage in the world, but if I'm dead on the ground, how much damage do I do really if you're dead on the ground? So yeah, I like to be tanking. Um, I use 4 pieces of striking, striker, um, with 15% weapon handling, 15 fire rate. Weapon hits increase the total weapon damage by... Uh, zero points, 65 percent, stacking up to 100 times, <coughs> so that is uh, 65 percent weapon damage. If you get them to max, you lose a sex per second, and uh, you lose two sex if you have more stacks. So yeah, this striker gives you a lot of damage. I don't use the striker chest piece or backpack because um, you lose the stacks too quickly, and you need to gain the stacks. It's not really good for the lady that, but because I don't use the chest piece, I use a Belson Armory with 1% armor regen, crit charge, crit damage, and another crit damage. Then I use the Obliterate uh, talent, crit hits, increase the total weapon damage by 1% for 10 se seconds, second of 25 times. So this chest piece uh, talent gives you 25% weapon damage on top of the striker, so that is a lot of damage. <laughs> and um, yeah, this obliterate stacks up uh, together with the striker, so it's a lot of damage. Then I have another striker, holster with crit chance, uh, striker knee pad with crit chance, and a striker glove with crit, uh, crit damage. Everything has armor on it. Then I use a momentum with weapon damage, armor, skill tier, and a crit damage. Enemies you kill drop uh, a trophy on that. Collecting the trophy provides a short and a long term buff. The first of which scales with the number of core attributes you have equipped. So we have everything armor, so we get 10% bonus armor times 6, that's 60% bonus armor. Um, so that is for the short term buff, you get, uh, or you also get 5% weapon damage, you get 10% bonus armor and 5 skill efficiency for every kill you make in the last 10 seconds. Then for the long term uh, buff, uh, you get for every trophy collected you gain an additional weapon damage. Uh, you get 1 skill efficiency and 0.1 armor regen for 300 seconds. And that stacks up 30 times, so at, if you kill 30 enemies, you have 30 weapon damage, 30 skill efficiency and 3% armor regeneration. And that lasts the whole fight, 300 seconds. That's 
perfect. So this backpack gives you damage, gives you skill efficiency, and it keeps you alive with the armor regen. Because I don't have any armor regen on the build except this backpack. That's why Momento is, in my opinion, the best backpack in the game. Um, I use the Police M4 with Assault Rifle Health and Damage Out of Cover. Then I use a normal measured. The top half of your magazine has 20% fire rate and minus 30 weapon damage. And the bottom of the magazine has minus 20 fire rate but plus 30 weapon damage. And this goes hand in hand with the striker because with the striker you need to keep shooting and to stack it up. And the first half of the, this magazine will give you the striker stacks and then the second half will benefit from it and give the damage. So this gun is really good also for stacking the striker um, stacks. Then I, then I don't like to use a shield or like a defending drone, so this banshee is offensive and defensive. You just pulls multiple enemies in a row, you kill them with the Lady Dead, and if an enemy is disorientated, they can't shoot you, and you can shoot them for free. So it's like damage and defense. They can't shoot you, you don't take damage, and you can shoot them for free. Then I use a revive. This one has two charges because of the Memento backpack that gives you a skill tier. So I can drop it for a mate of mine, or I can uh, use it myself. Yeah, it's a really good... Uh, really good to have the revive on. The card custom is whatever. I put an optimist. Doesn't really matter, just put on everything you like. There for the stats. 34 weapon damage. Almost 60 crit chance. You want to go as high as, as 60 uh, crit chance as you can. Don't go over because you would just waste the damage if you go over 60. So I'm at 59. I'm at 122 crit damage. Really good. Headshot 70%. Accuracy, stability. Yeah, you just want to go close so the accuracy and stability doesn't really matter. Just run up to an enemy, shoot him. You will see in the gameplay how I play with it. And that's all the same. Damage boost, pistol, assault rifle, SMG damage. I have the momentum backpack talent, obliterate, striker. Bells on Armory for some regen. You can change this uh, chest piece to um, soccer loaf chest piece for the SMG damage. But the Bellstone uh, is nice for the armor regen. Yeah, I'm at almost 2 million armor. Armor kills almost 200,000. Armor regen, this is only calculating the Bells on Armory chest piece. So with the Memento, you get to around 124,000 armor regen per second. But you need to uh, get kills to stack that armor regen. But yeah, the momentum keeps you alive a long time. Uh, max health, protection from elite, none, hazard protection, skill haste, yep. This is for the hive. I yeah, hope you guys like the video. It's really tanky. You almost never go down. If you go down, you have a revive. You can melt enemies. You will see in a second. Yeah, this is my go-to build to do anything in the game. Hope you guys have a nice day. And here is some gameplay of it.
in route. Detecting additional hostile contacts.
Hostile broadcast detected. Supply room access unlocked. <laughs>